What's up, my comic comrades? There has been a lot of chatter about Ghost Rider among Marvel fans lately, mostly out of the anticipation for how he may reappear in the MCU. And I say reappear because Robbie Ray's Ghost Rider, who we are spotlighting today, was introduced and played a role in Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. TV series, which is technically an MCU continuity. But let's just say we hope that isn't the last word on the character. So with that hopeful optimism in mind, we're going to give you the history of the most likely version of Ghost Rider to reappear in the MCU, and one of my personal favorites, Robbie Reyes. Although I think any of us would be just as excited for Johnny Blaze, but that's for another day. As for today, let's kick this pick. Robbie Reyes was created by Felipe Smith and Trad Moore, and first appeared in All New Ghost Rider Issue 1 in March of 2014. Around that time, Marvel had been going through a revamp and was looking for new characters to introduce with their all new, all different Marvel initiative. And one of the characters then Marvel editor Mark Panicia wanted to overhaul was Ghost Rider. So he turned to the writer Smith, who pitched the idea of Robbie Reyes as a younger and edgier version of the anti hero. Panicia loved the concept, and the rest is history. Once introduced, fans were presented a version of Ghost Rider who drives a Hellfire imbued muscle car instead of his iconic motorcycle, and the first Ghost Rider not to have a floating head. When asked what led to those changes for this Ghost Rider, Smith explained, he's an amalgam of a flaming car and a human being. He's not wearing a helmet and his head isn't a skull. This Ghost Rider is designed so his look simulates the lines of the muscle car he was racing the night he died. That's a really dope approach and fits really well with the direction they took Robbie Reyes as a character. Speaking of, let's dive into his fictional origin. Marvel laid out the origin story for Robbie Reyes right up front in the same issue as his first appearance, All New Ghost Rider Issue 1. In the issue, we learn that Robbie Reyes is a mechanic from East Los Angeles working at Camelo's Auto and Body. On the opening page, we see him at a shop working on a 69 Charger. His boss Camelo then interrupts him saying, I told you, there's no rush on that one. They're not picking it up until next Friday. Here's this week's pay. Robbie then counts the money, and luckily he did, as his boss tried to short him $23. We are then taken to Patrick Wellman's Development Center, where we see a bunch of bullies picking on a disabled kid in a wheelchair, stealing his wheelchair and taking his comic books. But before they can get away, Robbie comes in tackling and punching one of them. And as Robbie is laying into them, one of them pulls out a gun and points it at him. They then beat him off panel before leaving with the wheelchair, at which point we find out this disabled kid is Robbie's younger brother. Robbie then picks up his kid brother who asks Robbie to pick up his comic books before saying, Robbie, you're so cool. You're my hero. Robbie, you showed them. As Robbie with a bloody nose and tears falling down his face says, yeah, I showed them. On their walk home, we see that Robbie and his brother do not live in a good area as two people were just killed on a block nearby. Robbie then makes his kid brother some mac and cheese for dinner as we see he's the sole caretaker and guardian. Later, Robbie sneaks back out to the auto body shop he works out to borrow the charger he was working on earlier to enter into an illegal street race. He does this to potentially win $50,000 so him and his kid brother can move to a better area. The race starts and it looks like something straight out of the Fast and Furious franchise, with Robbie being Dom Toretto as he's literally racing because family. But all joking aside, the race is going great for Robbie as he's beating everyone, but he sees in the rear view that the other cars are turning down different blocks. This is because a police helicopter has busted the race and is now following Robbie. He says no, as he envisions himself being arrested and imprisoned with his kid brother Gabe being forced into the foster system. Robbie tries to make a run for it, but ultimately drives himself into a dead end, so he gets out of the car saying, officers, listen, please, but they just say, don't move, and as he says Gabe, I'm sorry, they start opening fire, killing him. We then see these are not cops at all, but some sort of military or mercenaries, as they open the trunk of the car and say, target acquired, sir, pulling out duffel bags of some sort of pills or drugs. They then leave with the duffel bags, but once they're gone, we see the charger start to go up in a blaze of fire with Robbie's face also starting to catch fire. This is immediately followed by Robbie turning into the new Ghost Rider for the first time, with him standing up and getting into his now Hell Charger, then speeding off. In issue 2 of the same series, we see Robbie, now the new Ghost Rider, speeding off to catch up with the mercenaries who just killed him, or so they thought. They start shooting at the Charger and even fire a rocket launcher at it, with the Hell Charger doing a front flip over the other vehicles landing in front of them. In shock, the mercenaries are like, what the hell, who's driving it? We tore that kid to shreds, at which point Robbie, aka Ghost Rider, just makes a a hard right into one of the military trucks, shredding it in half. Elsewhere, we see a man by the name of Dr. Zabo is the one who hired the mercenaries to retrieve his pills, as Street Thug stole the pills from him during a recruitment meeting. He then takes the leader of the group into a room and transforms him into a monster. He also kills the mercenary leader because he didn't come back with all the pills that were stolen. He then appoints a new leader saying, take your men, get the missing duffel bag, you're in charge now. One more thing. He says, yes, Mr. Hyde. As Mr. Hyde replies, watch yourself, as he hands him the former leader's eyeball. After this, we see the street thugs that stole the pills at a party, and one of the girls there takes the pills, turning her into a monster. Then towards the end of the issue, we see Robbie trying to figure out what has happened to him, but as the story goes on, we see that Robbie uses his new powers to fight Injustice and his first supervillain, Mr. Hyde. And with that, we have Robbie Reyes Ghost Rider's origin, and before we move on to story arcs, it's time for some stress relief. <laughs> The 
That moment of glorious slice and dice therapy is courtesy of legit quality Japanese steel made by today's sponsor, Kamikoto. I'm personally not that much of a chef, but even I know that Japanese steel knives like these are a big deal. They're widely considered the best knives in the world. And Kamikoto was kind enough to send over this awesome combo set of their high-end knives, all made using traditional Japanese techniques. And these are legit the sharpest knives I've ever seen, which is one of the many reasons these knives are used by Michelin star chefs all over the world. Not to mention stretched out YouTube hosts. Each knife is individually inspected and comes with a lifelong guarantee. And as you can see, these Kamikoto Japanese steel knives come in this heavy duty ash wood box, which not only helps to keep them in great condition, but also makes it a great gift, especially with Christmas knocking on our door. Kamikoto has several special offers going on right now. And on top of that, they're offering Variant viewers an extra $50 off any purchase when you use the discount code Variant. Just check out kamikoto.com forward slash Variant. Again, that's kamikoto.com forward slash Variant and use code Variant for a bonus $50 off. I gotta start off by pointing out that Robbie Reyes has only existed for eight years, so he doesn't have a crap ton of story arcs, but the stories he has been in are really well written. It's also worth noting that in more recent storylines, he's been given some massive power upgrades. Either way, the most obvious place to start is his previously mentioned first solo series, All New Ghost Rider, which lasted for 12 issues. I already went over the first few issues of the series and Origins, but as the series progresses, we learn that Robbie isn't your stereotypical Ghost Rider. For instance, Johnny Blaze is bonded to the spirit of vengeance, Zarathos, but Robbie is not. He is unique in the sense that he is bonded to the human spirit of Satanist and serial killer Eli Morrow. Eli's spirit was able to escape eternal damnation through sadistic rituals. It's actually all broken down to us in issues 3 and 12 of All New Ghost Rider. Now, on the very last page of issue 2, after Robbie transforms back into his normal self, he looks at the car saying, what are you? The car replies, no. The real question is, what are we? This brings us to issue 3, where we see the reflection of Robbie's Ghost Rider saying, you ask what I am, Robbie, but the real question is, what are we? We are kindred spirits, Robbie. We are unstoppable, everlasting, eternal friends, you and I. Robbie asks Eternal. Eli tells him, well, not if you die again, we're not. Robbie asks, who died? Eli tells him, you did, partner, and I brought you back to life like a guardian angel. Robbie then asks, you're an angel? He responds, no. Robbie asks, you're... He responds, nope. Try again, Reyes. Robbie then frustrated says, how the heck should I know? You're an alien, I don't know. Eli then answers saying, I'm a spirit, a human spirit, Robbie. I was killed by a bunch of lowlife bastards just like you were last night. And when I saw it happen, I brought you back. Robbie asks, why? I don't even know you, what do you want from me? Eli tells him, I want to help you, kid. I want to give you the power to fight back against the gangs, the bullies, the parents that abandoned you to raise your kid brother on your own. Let me give you the power. Robbie asks, and how are you gonna do that? He replies, I'll tell you how we're gonna do that, Robbie, together. You and me in this beautiful black car. You and I are the key to the ignition. This car is your ride towards a better life. All you have to do is hop in and take the wheel, harness its power. You want the power to change your life, don't you? I know you do. Do you want a new life, you and your brother? And the answer is right in front of you. All I need is your trust. Now, clearly it's not as black and white as Eli is saying, but either way, Robbie reluctantly accepts and uses the power bestowed upon him. Eli's endgame is to completely take over Robbie's body and use Robbie to do whatever he wants. But Robbie's will is very strong and he is constantly fighting off Eli's influence to do bad. However, if Robbie gives into the negative feelings and despair, Eli can take over completely. In issue nine of the series, Robbie comes face to face with Johnny Blaze, the original Ghost Rider. Johnny would tell Robbie, there's a lot of evil in you, Robbie Reyes. We need to talk. Robbie says, so you're the Ghost Rider. That monster I fought in Hell Rock's Heights went on about you. Yeah, Mr. Hyde was referring to me. I fought him many years ago, but there are other Ghost Riders. I'm not the only one. Robbie asks, so I'm a Ghost Rider too? And Blaze says, that's what I came here to find out. If I understand correctly, you did not make a pact with the devil. Robbie answers, what? Hell no. Only an idiot would do that, as Johnny gives him an irritated look because that's what he did. Johnny then says, well, idiots or not, that's how we ghost riders tend to get our powers, kid. Through a contract with Satan, dealing with an immortal vengeful spirit or a supernatural entity. But you were brought back to life by the spirit of a serial killer and a Satanist, which explains how you develop some powers similar to my own and some very different ones as well. Robbie asks, so if Eli Morrow's not a spirit of vengeance and I'm not a ghost rider, am I some sort of satanic evil thing then? Johnny responds, it looks like to me, that's entirely up to you, Robbie. The situation you're in right now with Morrow was virtually the same one I found myself in when I was cursed by the spirit of Zarathos a long time ago. Zarathos's thirst for vengeance consumed me, preying on my fear and anger and became uncontrollable, causing me to make countless mistakes. I wished for death. Like Zarathos, the spirit of Eli Morrow feeds on your anger and despair, and in exchange gives you great power. How you ration out that anger to fuel his fire is entirely up to you. If you give in to despair and let your negative feelings get the best of you, Eli Morrow will take over once again and hurt the ones closest to you. So now knowing this with the help of Johnny Blaze, by the last issue of the series, issue 12, Robbie Reyes strikes a deal with Eli so they can better coexist. Robbie says to Eli, I'll make you a deal. Find the worst scum on the planet. Find me those who torture, kill, and rape. Find me the foulest, darkest, degenerate souls to walk the earth. People like you, Eli 
tomorrow, and I'll gladly destroy them. But I will kill no one else. Eli eventually laughs as we see the face of his spirit next to Robbie saying, Robbie Reyes, you got yourself a deal. And just like that, the all new Ghost Rider lives on. Now after his first 12 issue series, we get a brand new five issue series in 2016 simply titled Robbie Reyes Ghost Rider. It's a really short yet fun series, but truth be told, his character has been fleshed out in other titles that he's appeared in that are not his own, such as Jason Aaron's 2018 Avengers title. In issue five of that series, we see Robbie Reyes start to unlock the true potential of his power. In the issue, we see Robbie go inside a dead celestial's armor and use his hellfire to turn the dead celestial into his freaking hell ride. That's right, Robbie Reyes turns the celestial into his vehicle saying, this can't be really happening. So much power at my fingertips, and it's not just a celestial. This is me. Just exactly how strong am I? And to answer that, very strong, very, very strong. On the last page of the issue, he lines up with his fellow Avengers Thor, She-Hulk, and Iron Man, ready to save the day. But that's not it. In issue 28 of the same Avengers series, we see Robbie take on the freaking Silver Surfer. The two then get into a quick fight, but Surfer is able to hurt Robbie, and Robbie's chains just go right through Surfer, but then out of nowhere, Robbie steals Surfer's board. With Surfer saying impossible, the board is intangible too. How are you doing this? Robbie answers, you're not the only one who could see souls. I see your souls, Norn Rad. They are as many as the damn stars. And any sinner alive can feel the burn of Hellfire, as he rides Surfer's board towards him, attacking him with Hellfire. But that's not even the best part for Robbie. Recently in stories, in Jason Aaron's Avengers Forever title, we see Robbie on a quest of cosmic vengeance, as he finds himself zipping through a wasteland of a ruined Earth. But by issue two of the series, a seemingly fallen Robbie Reyes is helped by Deathlock. He's a cyber soldier who puts his gadgets on Reyes' skull, saying your name is Robbie Reyes. And I do not care what you are in any other universe. You are the Ghost Rider. You are an Avenger, the only Avenger this world has got. Anything you touch, you turn into a Ghost Rider's Hell Ride. You rose a Celestial from the dead. You rode the Surfer's board. You are the All Rider, the multiversal spirit of vengeance. And at the beginning of the next issue, Robbie officially rises up, officially being declared the All Rider and the multiversal spirit of vengeance. Not just the normal spirit of vengeance, the multiversal spirit of vengeance. Now you may be asking, what the heck is the All Rider? Well, exactly as the name implies, Robbie can turn anything into one of his Hell Rides. What I'm saying is Robbie Reyes is now one of the most powerful characters in all of Marvel. But in any case, we need to move on to powers and abilities. First and foremost, unlike other Ghost Riders like Johnny Blaze and Danny Ketch, Robbie Reyes isn't technically a Ghost Rider, even though we all call him one. This is because, like I said earlier, he's not inhabited by a spirit of vengeance, but instead a satanic human spirit, that of Eli Morrow. And because of this, he has a constant dark need to extinguish life. But Robbie has found a way to channel the dark side for good. And because he's not a traditional Ghost Rider, Robbie doesn't need to completely transform to use several of his abilities, such as increased strength, durability, and speed. Also, unlike previous Ghost Riders, Robbie can manipulate his physical being from one shadow to another. He could also teleport short distances, and the Spirit of Morrow can create Hellfire portals out of thin air to travel long distances. Then, of course, he has Hellfire, which is a supernatural flame that could burn the soul of its victims. He has mystical chains, which he uses as chainsaws to cut through people, or even use it as a whip. The end of the chains can vary from crowbars, hooks, knives, and so on. He also has the Soul Eater ability, which is an ability where the Spirit of Eli Morrow can consume the souls of his victims. Robbie is also the first rider to have a car, his Hell Charger, which is capable of self-repair, Hellfire generation, ramming power, ghosting through stuff, supernatural camouflage, it's pretty much unstoppable. It makes the Batmobile look like a Power Wheels. And then of course Robbie has the penance there which allows him to force anyone he makes eye contact with to feel the pain and suffering they've inflicted on others. But most importantly, Robbie is now the All Rider in Multiversal Spirit of Vengeance. And as the All Rider, he can turn anything into his Hell Ride like he did with the Celestial, Silver Surfer's board, and so on. But now it's time for reading recommendations. Check out all new Ghost Rider, the 2016 Robbie Reyes Ghost Rider title, Avengers Forever by Jason Aaron, and the 2018 Avengers run. And that's gonna bring today's episode to a close, but if you like this video, be sure to check out this one right here. And if you enjoy the channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. It helps us out. But other than that, I'll see you next time when I talk about all things comics.